The DRDO has announced that the Agni Prime new generation ballistic missile was successfully flight tested last night and all objectives were successfully demonstrated during the test. The Agni Prime has already completed three successful developmental trials and this test was the first pre-induction night launch conducted by the Strategic Forces Command that validated the accuracy and reliability of the 2000 km range nuclear capable ballistic missile, thus paving the way for its induction. Prime Minister Modi is likely to visit Egypt this month, and this visit comes just six months after the two countries elevated their ties to the level of strategic partnership. Egypt has projected a requirement for 20 light combat aircraft, and officials have confirmed that India and Egypt will hold discussions on the sale of Tejas Mark 1A light combat aircraft, Akash missile system, and the smart anti-airfield weapon. Egypt has shown interest in creating a local aerospace ecosystem, and India aims to facilitate it by sharing technology and explore new opportunities for defense co-production. Mazagin dock shipbuilders and Germany's Tissencrypt Marine Systems have signed a Memorandum of Understanding for partnering in submarine production, and they will now jointly bid for the Navy's Project 75I to build six advanced submarines. According to the Memorandum of Understanding, Tissencrypt would contribute to the engineering and design of the submarines, as well as the consultancy support to this joint project, and Mazagin would take responsibility for constructing and delivering the respective submarines with significant local content. Germany has offered Type 214 submarines with India-specific customization, that features a IP system and vertical launch system for long-range submarine-launched cruise missiles, and has also agreed to transfer technology, provide training and accommodate Indian-made sensors and weapon systems in the customized submarines. India has sought assistance from Germany in maintaining the MTU's MT881 8-cylinder diesel engine, which powers K9 Vajra 155mm self-propelled howitzer. The Indian Army currently operates 100 K9 Vajra howitzers, and is in discussions to procure additional 100 units, for which India is seeking the establishment of a local supply chain within the country, to ensure a more direct and reliable supply chain for the MTU engine, that would reduce dependence on South Korea for engine-related support and spares. BrahMos Aerospace is developing multiple systems and subsystems for the BrahMos 2 hypersonic cruise missile, that will incorporate elements of scramjet engine technology from the Russian Zircon anti-ship hypersonic cruise missile. BrahMos Aerospace aims to initiate the BrahMos 2 program, once a significant portion of the building blocks is manufactured locally, thereby ensuring a high indigenous content, and achieve cost efficiency for the BrahMos 2. Israel Aerospace Industries and India's Elcom Systems have signed a Memorandum of Understanding to establish a collaborative partnership in the field of maintenance repair overhaul support and upgrades of advanced Heron Mark II UAVs operated by the Indian military. The two companies are already providing MRO facilities for the Heron UAV used by the Indian Armed Forces, and this new agreement signifies the growing synergy between Israeli and Indian defense industries. Oh, my God.